good morning children a very warm welcome last week we discussed about the different types of fruits now this week we are going to discuss about special functions of fruits now we have two main functions of fruits the first main function of the root absorption so root helps the plant to absorb water and minerals from the soil that is called as absorption as human beings we need water and minerals for the growth of our body same way plants also need water and minerals and which is absorbed by the soil and the second function is fixation roots hold the plant upright in the soil so we call it as a fixation the special functions of the roots in some plants store food for plants in few plants like radish carrot and beetroot have thick roots which store food for the plant some of such roots are eaten by man and animals these roots are called edible roots now here you can see in the pic that we have carrots beetroot radish etc so these are all eaten by man and animals so we call them as edible roots and these all edible roots can be cooked and eaten as a vegetables and even you can prepare like a salad of all the vegetables with edible roots and these roots are very delicious nutritious and add variety to our diet and next we go for the some of the roots which provide extra support to the plant first we discuss about banyan tree few plants like banyan tree the branches get extra support with the help of special roots that grow downwards from the branches now see the picture children here we have a banyan tree the long branches and from the branches we can see the roots grow downwards which give extra support to the plant next we move to the other plant called maize plant similarly some plants like maize have very thin and long stems which require extra support to keep them erect erect means straight such plants have roots arising from the base of their stem that help to support the plant now observe the roots of maize plant here because the stem is very long thin stem and they grow very straight and they need extra support that extra support is given by the roots at the base of the stem and next we go for the another variety of a plant called mangrove plants so mangrove plants grow in marshy areas in some plants like mangrove roots do not get sufficient oxygen in the marshy areas now we see the meaning of marshy areas marshy means a very wet muddy area on land in marshy areas soil does not contain air children i am here forwarding a video which contains soil which contains air in the soil now here a pick having a very wet muddy area this soil we call it as a marshy soil where soil does not contain air and next here marshy soil have clay soil with plenty of water and has no air and to adjust to the marshy conditions the plant should develop breathing roots the water cannot drain away and remains in the soil hence the plants in the soil develop breathing roots that help the roots to breathe in such plants some breathing roots come out of the soil to get fresh air from the atmosphere now here you can see the pick of mangrove plants and it grows in the marshy areas where very wet and muddy area soil does not contain air in this area the roots comes out of the soil and take the fresh air from the atmosphere so this is also marshy area where the roots comes out of the soil and take the fresh air from the atmosphere so these roots we call it as a aerial roots and such type of roots are found in banyan tree maize etc 
Now we move to the next one. How do roots help in soil conservation? Roots help to bind the soil and protect the soil from getting washed away. Now here children you can see the pick of this tree. The roots are bind with the soil and here the soil holds very tightly to the roots and getting washed away here. And next even we have a law against cutting the trees. For cutting down or pruning that is trimming any tree a written permission from the appropriate authorities is required. So authorities are nothing but like GHMC forest departments we should so any human being to cut down the trees, they need a special permission taken from the authorities like GHMC. Otherwise, it will be a punishable. So children, we have discussed about the edible roots, special functions in the mangrove plants, banyan tree and mangroves. And go through your textbook, read a lesson and complete your next exam perfectly. All the best. Have a good day.